And at this hour, hundreds across the state are protesting the Supreme Court's abortion decision. But will it make an impact at the ballot box? News 12 Connecticut's John Craven looks at the political fallout. The Supreme Court has reached a decision. Governor Lamont's latest political ad focuses on Roe v. Wade. I think it's top of mind. People want to know where you stand. Are you going to call for restrictions on Roe v. Wade or not? Lamont's Republican opponent says abortion is a non-issue because it's codified in state law. Although Bob Stefanowski does support parental consent for kids under 16. Democrats are going to want to do a lot of fear mongering on this in Connecticut. It's part of the law. It's not going to change. They don't want to talk about inflation. They don't want to talk about gas prices. So are abortion rights really at risk? At the state capitol, many Republicans are pro-choice. In fact, Stefanowski's running mate voted to expand abortion access. But the state Senate president has this warning. Yeah, the Republican Party itself is becoming more and more uh, uh, more and more conservative, so I, I don't know uh, whether all of those uh, more moderate Republicans are, uh, are likely to continue in office. This year's Republican race for U.S. Senate could be a litmus test. Themis Claritus, who's pro-choice, faces two abortion opponents. Will abortion be a motivating factor? You know, it's just so much that voters can do because this is really a Supreme Court decision that was handed down. So it's not like the voters can decide on the judges. I've never backed down when it comes to choice, and I never will. Ultimately, voters will choose in November. John Craven, News 12, Connecticut. John, thank you. We're taking a deeper look at all of this on this weekend's Connecticut Power and Politics at the Times on your screen or anytime on the News 12 app.